Good morning. I am Brian Carpenter, sports editor of the Meriden Record Journal, and welcome to the fourth and final edition of our All Record Journal teams for the fall season. We're very excited today to be able to bring to you the All Record Journal football teams. Right now, we're going to bring you our All Record Journal offense, and we're going to start at running back. Our running back of the year for our All RJ team, Aiden Valentin. Maloney High School. Aiden's a great story. He was without a team when Wilcox decided to go from uh, varsity to JV. He was able to transfer to Maloney, was uh, not required to sit out per CIAC transfer rules, and he responded with a terrific season for the Spartans. He ran for 1,200 yards, also caught balls for 114 yards. He scored 15 touchdowns. He was also a defensive player. He had 31 tackles. He was an all-CC selection and he is our all-record journal running back. We turn now to wide receiver, and we need to explain something to you. We picked just one running back, and we've picked four wide receivers, and here's why. Pretty much everybody in our team, pretty much most of the teams in the state, they run a spread formation. There's a single back, there's four guys split, with two slots and the two wides, and that's how we did our all-record journal football team last year, and that's how we did it again this year. We have four wide receivers. Our first one is the area's leading receiver. He is from Maloney High School, Mr. Victor Marquez. Victor led all receivers in catches with 60, with receiving yards and 743, and also with uh, touchdowns with nine. A defensive player, he had 53 tackles on the other side of the ball, and he too was an all CCC selection. Receiver number two for the All Record Journal team, second leading receiver in the area, Southington senior Tim O'Shea. Tim had 49 catches for 609 yards, eight touchdown catches. He was all CCC. Also had a terrific highlight film catch that uh, Pete has put together some highlights for next week that you can check out. Perhaps Tim O'Shea's spinorama catch will be on that. For now, he is an all-record journal selection. Our third all-RJ wide receiver, the area's third leading receiver over at Platt, Mr. Elijah Felton. Elijah had 49 catches for 574 yards. He scored eight touchdowns. He was also an all-CC selection. We're happy to have Elijah Felton representing Platt on the all-record journal football team. Our fourth receiver was the area's fourth leading receiver. He is also the area's most veteran player. This young man has been playing Cheshire football since his freshman year, started at free safety, started at wide receiver starting his sophomore year. He's been terrific all four years. He is an all-record journal wide receiver. He is Michael Jeffrey. Michael had 48 catches for 670 yards, scored seven touchdowns. He was also from free safety, was in on 79 tackles, two interceptions. He was an all-SEC player, tier one. Those are our four wide receivers. We're going to move up front now to the linemen. I'm a big fan of the linemen. I wanted to do the linemen first. Pete said, no, you can't do the linemen first. I wanted to do the linemen first. We got five good ones. They are all all-conference players. We're going to start over on the left side from Southington. Senior, Mr. J.J. Clark. J.J. was at left tackle. Big boy, too. 6'5", 270 pounds. He's looking to play in college. He was also, along with being all CCC, a Connecticut High School Coaches Association All-State player for Class Double L. Also a tackle, another big boy. We liked him. He is from Platt High School, Mr. Andre Barnes. Andre, All-CC tackle, 6'4", 265 pounds. He also played a little nose guard by the end of the season. Coach Jason Bruin used him at right side and left side on the offensive line. Andre Barnes, All-Record Journal offensive lineman. Moving down the line, we are going to stop right dead smack in the middle at center. Our all-record journal center is Mr. Andrew McClure from Lyman Hall High School. Senior captain, big part of the turnaround there that the Trojans enjoyed this past season under first-year coach Bill Wyrock, who was the SEC Tier 3 Coach of the Year. Andrew uh, was an all-SEC Tier 3 player. He perhaps will be going on to play in college. Also up front from the other side of Wallingford, Steven Zaniski, Sheehan High School. This kid is a fantastic two-way player. He was the SCC Tier 3 Player of the Year. He was also in the Connecticut High School Coaches Association's All-State team in the top 25. Those are the top 25 vote-getters across the four classes. And in the same position, from Cheshire, Mr. Dan Covell, another strong two-way player on both sides of the line. He was an all-SEC Tier 1 player. He had 51 tackles from his defensive line position. He is going on to play at St. Lawrence. 
All right, that accounts for 10 of our 11 positions on the field. We actually have 12 players. Now, one thing to understand with the All Record Journal teams is we do pick the minimum number of players. Five offensive linemen, four receivers, one running back. We also have to have a kicker. Somebody's got to kick the extra points and deliver us three points if we can't, you know, break through to the end zone. We have a kicker. He is from Southington, Mr. Evan Johans. He was the offensive MVP of the Apple Classic, and for good reason. Southington was in the red zone three times to start the game. They could not score a touchdown. Evan bailed them out with three field goals. Nine points was actually the difference in that game in the end. Evan Johans for the season, 47 of 50 on PATs. He was 5 for 5 for field goals, including the three he hit in the Apple Classic. Evan's only a junior. He is our all-record journal kicker. I think that covers it all, Pete, right? No. We have one last position left. It was the hardest one to pick. It was the most exciting one to pick. I hope you're looking forward to our selection. It is quarterback. We went into this season saying this was the year of the quarterback. We had six returning starters at quarterback, each one of our schools returning last year's starter. Five of them were seniors. One was a junior. In the end, and we sized everything up, in the end, we went with, from Sheehan, Mr. Wes Terzi. We went with Wes Terzi because he had a fantastic completion rate, 123 of 211 for 1,696 yards. Now, he didn't lead the area with those numbers, but he did lead with these numbers, 23 touchdowns and only five interceptions. Wes did what was asked of him. He led the Sheehan Titans into the Class M playoffs for the first time since 1995. He was named All-SEC Tier 3. And he, in this year of the quarterback, is the all-record journal QB. There's our team. We also picked our all-record journal defensive team. We shot them today, too. We want you to check out that video as well. Hope you enjoyed our selections. 